everyone, I'm Jen Haidt and I am a Realtor with Keller Williams and Beach Cities down here in El Segundo, California. One of the things that I do have the most experience with is moving. I've moved over 28 times and let me tell you, I've gathered definitely some tips and tricks that hopefully will make this process for you just a little bit more easy. Tip number one, do your research, especially if it's an area that you have never been to before. So for instance, I'm in the South Bay area right now, but the South Bay consists of a whole conglomerate of cities. There is El Segundo, which is the farthest North Beach city, uh, Manhattan Beach, there is Redondo Beach, Hermosa Beach, and then you go a little bit further inland and you have Torrance and Hawthorne and Lawndale. Um, these are all areas that are considered part of South Bay. So you're going to need to take a look and see, you know, which price point you want to land in and how close to the beach you want to be. You're gonna to need to make your decisions based on what your pros and cons are. Are you looking for a good school or are you looking for a good commute? Are you looking for a place that has good walking trails or are you looking for something that's closer to the beach? Try and narrow these down and figure out, you know, a tight area. If these places are gonna be 30 miles apart, it may be difficult to get to, especially in California traffic. Tip number two, see if you can find a local real estate agent in the area that can help you from long distance and know about the schools or know about the commute or what the traffic time is going to be like prior to even looking at these places with your pros and cons list. So for instance, if I'm working with somebody who's relocating from across the country, I can go to the place that they're interested in, I can take a video, I can do a real-time FaceTime with you if you were interested in something like that and also I can scope out the area. This way, before you even come out, you're going to know if you like the area or if you like the house and you can either cross it off or check the box for this is a place that you want to see. It's going to save a lot of time and it will just help you get a better feeling of the community before you just come in totally blind. You'll know a little bit more about what you're expecting because you've already kind of felt it from the video I sent or from the FaceTime that we've done. Tip number three is narrowing your choices down. So if we can get these down to 10 to 15 of your top favorite houses that you wanna take a look at, it's really going to help. It'll help your memory. If you come out here and you've got 30 houses that you wanna see, it's gonna be a bit overwhelming. After the first five to seven houses in one day, they kinda of start to look alike. So doing a lot of homework prior to coming out is really gonna help. Tip number four is to know your market. You need to be able to rely on your real estate agent to let you know if it's a buyer's market or if it's a seller's market. If it's a buyer's market, it means that there's a ton of inventory and sellers are more likely to be able to negotiate a lower price. If it is a seller's market, it is the opposite. So usually there's bidding wars and you're going to have to come in with a really strong offer. But that's something that you can discuss with your real estate agent and hopefully it'll make the process a little bit smoother. Tip number five is do your inspections. So you fly out to California, you find your perfect house, you put your offer in, it's accepted, yay! And then you fly back home. Well, now you're gonna schedule the inspections and as a real estate agent, we can do that for you. You don't need to be present for the termite inspection or the home inspection. Your real estate agent can go out and do that for you and that will give you a little bit more peace of mind. So the last thing we should talk about is the closing. Um, you may wanna think about actually flying out and signing the documents here. Uh, that way we're gonna be sure that nothing has been missed and nothing's been overlooked. Um, if you sign in a different state, they may have different rules or regulations. And by the time you have to pay the extra fees, it may just be worth it for you to fly out and sign the closing documents here. So now you know how to make your life easier and less stressful if you are buying a house long distance. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to comment. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments box as well. I'm Jen Height with Keller Williams Beach Cities here in El Segundo, California.